what are the effects of original sin, of the first sin that Adam committed and that fell upon all of us? And what is the solution in today's gospel? Salve Maria, we're entering Lent, we're on the first Sunday of Lent, and St. Paul teaches us here that everything began with a sin. Everything that is the suffering of this life. And this is why we are Lent, because we're beginning to uh, accept our sufferings, offer our sufferings to prepare ourselves for Holy Week and to understand and to take advantage of all the sufferings that our Lord Jesus Christ and Our Lady as well offered for us in the Passion and not on the cross. Our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, but Our Lady uh, at the foot of the cross. And they offered all of it, all of this for us. But in Lent, we offer our sufferings as well. We meditate on this difficulty of sin that came through our first father, but also in our lives. We have sins in our lives and we have to purify this. And St. Paul shows us in this first reading that through one man sin entered the world and through sin death. So everything that's difficult, everything that is Mm, suffering came through that. And the solution to all the problems, of course, is our Lord Jesus Christ. Because He died for us on the cross and He paid for that sin of Adam. But we need to do our part because even though our Lord Jesus Christ paid for this, it's only given individually to each and every one of us all of these merits when we pray for them when our Lord Jesus Christ transmit them transmit these merits to us when we do an act of virtue when we practice good so we need in Lent to put aside all of our tendency towards sin all of our tendency towards evil and we have to strangle within us our bad desires, our bad passions. And we have to make shine within us our desire for good, our desire for virtue. And in the Gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted because He wanted to show that in this world we are tempted. And there's three principal types of temptations. The first one is where the devil tries to get our Lord to transform stones into bread. Symbol of sensuality, of the desire for pleasurable things. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, one does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The solution to all these temptations is to listen to the Word of God, to pray, to absorb it, and give ourselves some time. Then the second temptation was that the devil perceived that he was already a spiritual person. Oh, let yourself jump out of this high place and the angels will take care of you. You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. So, when we want to really follow the path of sanctity, we cannot just think that God's going to do everything for us and we don't have to make any effort. We have to do everything in our possibility. And then, there's another temptation, which is power. To dominate the whole world. But in order for that, you have to adore the devil. No. We should not want great things in this world 
and we should only adore our Lord Jesus Christ, but not only in theory, in our everyday lives. The Lord your God shall you worship, and Him alone shall you serve. The Lord be with you, and the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.